konnichiwa and good morning everybody. Welcome to the basic Japanese language class for beginners. We have been having these classes for quite some time now. This is our sixth class today and I hope that all of you are actually practicing at home and doing whatever we have done in the previous lessons. Basic reason for this is when you practice, you practice loudly and by doing so, one you are actually memorizing everything and the most important part that you are doing is actually uh, you are uh, listening to what you are saying and once you listen to what you say, you actually know whether you are pronouncing it correctly, whether your diction is all right, your intonation is all right and also what you are saying is audible to the other person or not. So, please try to do it loudly whenever you are practicing. Well, today before I actually start doing what we have to do today, as we are doing new something new every time, before I actually tell you something new today, I want to just go back to the assignments that I had given you in lesson 5 and we will try to just go over those assignments and see whether you have done them properly or not. So, minasan hajime ka. Now, this is something that we have done earlier. Hajime masho, we have done earlier as you know in one of the previous lessons. Hajime masho means let us begin or start. Now, I have said something new over here. I have used hajime masho with ka, particle ka that you have already done earlier. So, what does that mean? Hajime masho means let us begin or start. I decide, I say okay, let us start. But when I say hajime masho ka, I am also asking you, shall we start now? Shall we begin? So, please hajime masho means shall we begin? So, shall we begin? Hajime masho ka. I desu ka minasan? I desu ka now means is it all right? I am asking you is it all right? I desu ka? Is it okay with you? Ja ne minasan hajime masho. So, your first assignment was point at the objects and ask your partner what it is. Now, over here you have a lot of pictures, so many pictures here for you. But the basic thing you had to practice was array, which we had done in lesson 5. The words were given in English and you were supposed to give the equivalent in Japanese. So, here are the words for you. I hope you have done it properly. Densha, Toraku. Kyukyusha, Kuruma, Camera, Rajikase, Shinkansen. All the meanings are given in the vocabulary section, and also you can make out from the pictures what these things are, these objects are. Now, we will go on to the next assignment. Now, this picture has a lot of things in it. If you are A san over here and your partner is B san over here and is standing at a distance, practice the structure kore sore are wa nan desu ka using the objects as shown. The objects are given over here, the names of the objects are listed over here on top. You are supposed to point and then ask kore wa nan desu ka, sore wa nan desu ka or are wa nan desu ka. Now, for A san as you can see on the left side, this is close to A san. So, it can become kore for him. This on the right side is all very a little further from him, far away from him. So, this can become sore. Similarly, for B san, 
this side is kore for him and this side is sore for him. So, you can easily practice with your partner and ask kore wa nan desu ka if you are A san or kore wa nan desu ka if you are B san or you could also ask from here sore wa nan desu ka. We have guras over here for you then koppu, boshi, ringo, megane, mikan, mikan is orange, kaban, both these are kaban, but this is not a kaban please, toke, Suitcase, stando, stando is this where you put your coat or your cap, just hang it over there. So, you can practice with your partner and get to know the words as well as you can do renshu practice of kore sore and are. Now, the third assignment you have a lot of pictures over here of people standing. So, you are supposed to be practicing age. There is a small girl over here. Onna no ko, you are supposed to ask the age of this girl. Onna no ko wa nan sai desu ka? And the answer is given over here, nana sai desu. So, please practice like that. Oksan, niju go sai desu. Kango fu san, niju ni sai desu. Oji san, rokuju go sai desu. Sensei or kyoshi, sanju ni sai desu. Oto san, sanju go sai desu. So, please practice with your partner. Simple conversation can be done. You can ask and the answer can be given by your partner. That way you remember and memorize the word as well as age. Now, we will go on to the next assignment which was name the things below and practice at home. So, well this practice is basically for sore and kore as we had done in lesson 5. You have a lot of pictures here, you already know the names of these things. We have done it a number of times, but that is not important. The important part over here is for you to do sore and kore. You can look at the picture, if you are standing close to the picture, you can say kore wa nan desu ka? If you are standing far away from the picture, you can say sore wa nan desu ka and in a similar manner you can reply as well. We have the names of the pictures for you. The first one is kasa, enpitsu, kagi. Kutsu, Kaban, Toke, Isu and Fune. Now, one thing I want to point out is that please whenever you are practicing, practice loudly that is extremely important. So, do not forget that whatever you speak should be heard very clearly by you. Now, we have been doing pronunciation practice in our previous lessons as well. Basically, we need to do it because we need to get familiar with the sounds in Japanese and I am sure you have become quite familiar with the sounds as we have been practicing regularly. So, today also we will do a small practice, a very small practice of hiragana sounds 
please repeat after me. O E E A Ho he 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 Kaki kuke Keki kuko Sashi suse Tachi tsute Baby bubo Gegi gugo Popi pipe Papi pupo Neni nuno Nani nune And also as this becomes a little monotonous after some time so we have a few words also for you some new words these are vegetable names so please you could again repeat after me tamanegi satsuma imo of course the meanings are all given in the vocabulary section at the in the end so you could please look up the meanings as well later on once again tamanegi satsuma imo Ninjin Kabocha Okura Remon Jagaimon Tomato So, I hope you got the pronunciation right. Now, as we are doing Japanese, I think we should also get familiar with some of the Japanese names. We have Suzuki san in the beginning. The names in Japanese are in hiragana, are in blue in the center. We have kanji characters for each name. So, well, the first one is Suzuki Tanaka Matsumoto Yamada Nishino Yamaguchi Kawakami Kobayashi. So, these are very popular names in Japan. All kanji characters have meanings over here. Of course, these meanings, all these characters we will do later in class in our later lessons, but and they also have meanings. So, we will do the meanings later on. Now, in our in our last lesson, we had done Kore, sore and are. If you remember, kore is for this, sore is for that and are is for that over there. Now, let us see there are these two gentlemen here A san and B san. Both are standing very close by. So, this object here is kore for both of them and B san is also pointing at something far away which is far away from both of them. So, again that could be are as it is far away from the listener and the speaker both. So, now you can look at this. This object here is kore for B san and also kore for A san. Now, what, what do they have to say? Let us see. 
Kore wa nan desu ka? For both of them. And the answer could also be in kore. Anybody can ask and anybody can answer in kore because the object is close to both of them. Kore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa whatever the object this. Now we have B san pointing somewhere. Let us see what it is. It is far away from A and B both. Are. Are wa ginko desu. Are wa ginko desu. A san could easily ask are wa nan desu ka and B could say are wa ginko desu or vice versa. This is what we had done last time. This is a small recap of what we had done, a revision of what we had done last time. Now, today we are going to do something new as we have been done doing in previous classes as well. How much is it for? Ikura desu ka? So, this new word ikura. Ikura is an interrogative word. We will do prices today. It means what is the price of this object. Now, as we are doing price, we need to do our numbers. Numbers we have done till 80 so far. Today, we will do from 81 to 90. So, you could again repeat after me please. Hachiju ichi. Hachiju ni. Hachiju san. Hachiju yon or Hachiju shi. Hachiju go. Hachiju roku. Hachiju nana or Hachiju shichi. Hachiju hachi. Hachiju kyu or Hachiju ku. And kyuju. I hope you got it right. Please, I want you all to practice at home and not just leave in this PPT. Just like this, you are supposed to practice it also. Please keep that in mind, that is the most important part. Now, there is a small radio conversation for you. Please listen to the conversation carefully and let me see how much you have understood and then I will explain each of it to you. Sumimasen, ringo wa ikura desu ka? 500 yen desu. Suika mo 500 yen desu ka? Iie, suika wa 700 yen desu. Sou desu ka. Sumimasen, ano mikan no hako wa Ikura desu ka? Are wa 560 yen desu. Ano mikan no hako kudasai. So well, the conversation is between two people, Tanaka san and sales girl. Now from this you can make out that this is a shop and it is a vegetable store. So, Tanaka san has gone to buy some vegetables at this store and he is going to ask price of all these different vegetables and fruits. I will read it out first to you and then explain everything. Sumimasen, ringo wa ikura desu ka? 500 yen desu. Suika mo 500 yen desu ka? Iie, suika wa 700 yen desu. So desu ka? Sumimasen. Ano mikan no hako wa ikura desu ka? Are wa 560 yen desu. Sumimasen. Ano mikan no hako wo kudasai. So now, I will explain it to you. Sumimasen, you have already done. 
リンゴ is an apple はいくらですかいくら is the new word over here いくら means how much what is the price of リンゴ so now you will see that the pattern does not change over here リンゴは the subject リンゴはいくらですか just place いくら over here after は and use this and か and it means how much is it for now in our previous lesson we have done multiples of 100 if you remember 500 was given over there which is go hyaku en so this says go hyaku en des 500 yen suika mo go hyaku en desu ka suika is also for go hyaku en iie suika wa 700 yen desu so desu ka now this is new so desu ka means oh i see sumimasen ano mikan no hako wa ikura desu ka ano means that mikan no hako over there that mikan basket that mikan box over there wa ikura desu ka are wa 560 yen desu that is for 560 yen ano mikan no hako o kudasai please please give that mikan box to me please give that mikan box to me so this was the conversation now again you can see this is in your script simple kanji characters are given n is there that's the japanese currency n and it means a circle also these numbers are there we practiced multiples of 100 earlier now you can use them for asking price and of course this is your translation and please again i would like to tell you that translations may not be exact word to word all the time it is generally what you would say in english now the word ikura which came in the conversation in the beginning is an interrogative word and is similar in meaning to how much in english it means how much it is a question word and is most of the time used to ask price of objects for example kore wa ikura desu ka particle wa generally has the topic over here we have done this pattern earlier also in the beginning in all the other previous chapters so after topic wa will always come now this is an interrogative word a question word iku ra now you will notice the pattern as i told you earlier does not change at all it remains the same topic could be anything over here we are doing kore and sore kore wa ikura desu ka kore is actually pointing at something pointing at something and saying what is what is this a san is over here what is this or something over here sore wa ikura desu ka so ikura is how much also you can instead of kore you can also put a noun over here noun hon wa hon wa ikura desu ka tokei wa ikura desu ka megane wa ikura desu ka so you could replace kore sore with megane tokei hon actually name the object and then ask the price now yen or n in roman yen in roman 
English or N in Japanese. N is the Japanese currency and it is written with a Y and two bars here actually like this like this. This is yen and it is written after the price. So, hyaku n or hyaku n that is how it is written in Japanese as is given over here yen is the Japanese currency and is denoted by the English alphabet y with two horizontal bars on the stem and is pronounced as n in the language it also means circle. N also means circle and it, it, it also means circular. So, go hyaku n, nana hyaku n or nana ju n, ringo wa hyaku n desu or ringo wa hyaku n desu ka. Now, this is a, this is an expression. So, desu ka as you can see over here, this is an expression used when the speaker receives new information and is surprised and is showing that he or she understands it. It is quite similar to I see, is that so, really in English. So desu ka? Kore wa hyakuen desu. A so desu ka? Pen wa go hyakuen desu. So desu ka? And intonation is always rising. So desu ka? So the intonation is of surprise. Intonation is your intonation is a little rising intonation. As you can see over here in this small kaiwa, kore wa anata no desu ka? Iie, watashi no dewa arimasen. Ah, so desu ka? Oh, I see. Is that so? Now, over here it is more flat. I have understood. Now, this word ano was there in our conversation. So, this is again from the series of ko, so, a and do. Just we need to add no over here and it becomes kono, sono, ano and dono. Now, when you are saying kono, what you are actually doing is you are naming the object, you are pointing at the object and also naming the object. For example, hon, kaban, toke. So, you point at the object and you say sono hon, that book, kono, kono kaban, kono kaban, this kaban over here, sono kaban over there, this is far away from the speaker, far away from the speaker, far away from the speaker and this is close to the speaker. So, similar to kore sore and similar to kore sore are, we use kono sono and ano. Kore sore are of course, demonstrative pronouns, these are demonstrative adjectives. There is a big difference over here. These are only to be used for things, inanimate objects and kono sono ano can be used for inanimate and animate both because you are actually naming the person or the object. So, now what do you do is kono tokei wa. So, please remember with kore sore and are wa will come immediately after that kore sore are wa, but over here kono sono ano 
toke the noun plus y is going to come. Please remember that this is very, very important. You always name the object or person with kono, sono and ano. Kono, sono, ano plus noun plus va with kore, sore, are plus va. That is the difference. So, please remember they are used in exactly the same manner. You point at a thing and then you say kono, sono and an depending on where you are with respect to the object or person. Now, there was another interesting thing in the end of the conversation, which was something o kuda sai, something o kuda sai. Something would generally be a noun, o kudasai together means please give that to me, please give it to me or I am going to buy it. As Tanaka san was um, in a um, vegetable store, then naturally he was wanting to buy vegetables or fruits. So, then he says please give me the fruits, I am going to buy the fruits or please give it to me. So, because he was in a shop, then it was please I am going to buy it. So, when you want to buy something, you say that name that thing and say that o kudasai, something o kudasai, noun o kudasai. Please name the noun and then o kudasai. Now, kudasai over here, kudasai itself, it is used to request for something. Later on, we will be of course, doing this in detail when we do the verbs, but for the time being, just remember it as o kudasai together with o. Please give, please give this to me. The to me part is understood from conversation from context. Now, you have in this a lot of pictures over here for you these four things kutsushita, toke, kasa and pen. What you need to practice with your friends is kono hon wa ikura desu ka? So, the answer would be sore wa ni hakuen desu or sono hon wa ni hakuen desu. So, please point at the object kono Hon wa ikura, ikura desu ka? Kono hon, kono hon wa ikura desu ka? This could be answered as sono hon wa one, it could also be sore wa so, you could easily, you can see now, you can easily replace kono hon wa with sono hon wa with sore wa in your answer. Kono hon wa ikura desu ka? For example, kono pen wa ikura desu ka? You could always say sore wa hyakuen desu, whatever the price may be, sore wa hyakuen desu or sono pen wa hyakuen desu. So, now you have the pictures over here, kutsushita and the price given, you could answer, ask and answer with your friend and practice. Now, in the second part in this practice sheet, we have kono hon wa ni hakuen desu ka? Sono hon wa ni hakuen desu, hai so desu or Hai, sore wa ni hakuen desu or ie, so de wa arimasen. So, now we have done this one over here, kono hon wa ikura desu ka? You can replace this like this and also instead of ikura, 
over here. You can put price ni hyaku en des, san byaku en des, go hyaku en des, sen en des, isn't it? And you can ask kono hon wa ni hyaku en des ka? So the answer could be hai, hai, sono hon wa ni hyaku en des. Hai, so this. Short answer you have done. Hai, so this. Hai, sore wa ni hyaku en des. <coughs> or if you want to say no, it is not so, then ie sore wa ni hyaku en de wa arimasen. Or ie sono hon wa ni hyaku en de wa. So, you could answer in yes and you could also answer in no. You could answer in kono, you could answer also in kore or sore. So, you have so many options. You could practice with your partner please in a similar manner. All the words are given here. Toke, shatsu is shirt. Skato is skirt, shosetsu is novel and kutsu you already know is shoes. So, you could practice like this with your partners, but please, please practice loudly. Now, there is a small radio conversation for you. Please listen to the conversation carefully and let me see how much you have understood and then I will explain each of it to you. Suimasen, ano kutsu shita wa nylon desu ka? Dono kutsu shita desu ka? Ano kutsu shita desu. Are wa momen desu. Ano momen no kutsu shita wa ikura desu ka? 240 yen desu. 240円の靴下をください。ありがとうございます。So this is a simple conversation between two people, Tanaka-san and the sales girl. Now this time Tanaka-san is not at a vegetable store. He is in a department store and he wants to buy socks. So we will see what the conversation is. Sumimasen, ano kutsu shita wa nylon desu ka? Dono kutsu shita desu ka? Ano kutsu shita desu. Are wa momen desu. Ano momen no kutsu shita wa ikura desu ka? 240 yen desu. 240 yen no kutsu shita o kudasai. Arigatou gozaimasu. So this is a simple conversation between two people, Tanaka-san and the sales girl. As I told you, the only new thing over here is dono which we did not do for the kore sore are series also. I did not do dore at that time and today also we just did kono sono and ano not dono. So now I am going to tell you what dono and dore are. This conversation I am sure is understood. Sumimasen, ano kutsu shita wa nylon desu ka? Nylon is nylon. Dono kutsu shita desu ka? Which Kutsu shita are you talking about? Dono and dore both mean which one of the two or three things you are talking about. You can have three things in your hands, in your hand or two things in your hand and you could say dono chok desu ka? Kono chok desu ka? Kono chok desu ka? So, which of the two or three chalks you are talking about? Dono chok desu ka? Dore desu ka? So, that is what dono and dore mean. Ano kutsu shita desu. Are wa momen desu. So, you can see very, very easily you can change ano into are. Ano momen no kutsu shita wa ikura desu ka? 240 yen desu, which you know. 240 yen no kutsu shita o kudasai. 
Arigato gozaimasu. That's the last thing you have to say thank you for buying this at our shop. Now, this is your script. You can see katakana, hiragana, and kanji over here. This is simple kanji ni, hyaku, yon, ju, and n. So, ni, hyaku, yon, ju, n. 240 n. You have done the hyaku counter multiples of 100. You have done these kanji characters as well. So, please try to write and practice. You know the stroke order already. So, please try to do that at home. Then this is your translation in English which you can go over. Now, you have dono and dore over here. You can please go through it, read it carefully and I am sure you will understand. And also as we go ahead with our lesson, I am sure you will be able to understand dore and dono easily. Kore wa hon desu. Kono hon wa anata no desu ka? Does this book belong to you? Well now, just in your previous slide, we were asking price of objects where you had multiples of 100 and we have done it earlier as well. Now, let us try to practice what we have done. Well, you can see hyaku over here and hyaku is 100 and the character for hyaku is also given. Ni hyaku, simple ni plus 100 makes it ni hyaku. And then we have sambyaku and you will notice the reading for hyaku which is 100 changes to byaku. So, so far we have two readings for 100, one is hyaku and one is byaku. Now, let us see what is there. Well, we have yon hyaku for 400, go hyaku for 500 and then again you will notice that the reading has changed to pyaku, hyaku, byaku and pyaku. So, now you will notice that we have three readings for 100. You have to keep in mind where to use hyaku, where to use byaku and where to use pyaku. Now, nana hyaku, 700 is nana hyaku. We are back to hyaku again and with 800, we have pyaku with us and the reading is hap pyaku. 900 is kyu hyaku and then in the end, we have sen or 1000 or is sen, 1000. Sen means 1000 and is sen means 1000. Of course, both can be used for 1000. So, well, now you must remember for sambyaku, for ropyaku and for hapyaku. The reading changes to byaku and pyaku respectively instead of hyaku, we have these other readings which we have to remember. Try to practice loudly and it will be easy. Now, a simple, a very small conversation for practice again. Sumimasen, kono enpetsu wa ikura desu ka? 200 yen desu. その鉛筆も二百円ですか。いいえ、この鉛筆は四百七十円です。すみません、その鉛筆をください。Well, this is a small conversation between Rao-san and salesman again. 
as he is again at a shop. Now, this time it is a stationary shop. So, the conversation is Sumimasen, kono enpitsu wa ikura desu ka? 200 yen desu. Sono enpitsu mo 200 yen desu ka? Iie, kono enpitsu wa 470 yen desu. Sumimasen, sono enpitsu wo kudasai. So, well, he wants to buy pencils and he is asking whether this one is for 200 and that one is for 200 or not and the shopkeeper says no it is not for 200 it is for 470 yen. What you need to notice over here which is more important is the difference between wa and mo. Kono en pitsu wa 200 yen desu ka? Hai. Hai. So desu. Kono en pitsu mo 200 yen desu ka? Iie. Sono en pitsu wa 200 yen arimasen. So, now over here wa is there, kono enpitsu wa 200 yen desu ka? Says hai, so desu. Over here he uses mo instead of wa. Now, you can do this, you can replace wa with mo if you are talking about the same thing about enpitsu. But you cannot do vice versa, you cannot replace mo with wa. Please remember that. Kono enpitsu wa 200 yen desu ka? Kono enpitsu mo 200 yen desu ka? Is this also 200 yen? And then sono and then again iie sono enpitsu wa. Now that enpitsu becomes the subject and sono enpitsu wa 200 yen de wa arimasen. Now, we have A san and B san over here. Kore wa ikura desu ka? Kono pen wa 200 yen desu. So, what you can do now is you can replace kore with kono, ano, sono and also you can replace it with names of things. Budo which is grapes, ringo which is apple, mikan no basketto. Momo no hako, momo is peach and hako is box, toke is watch. So, well you can also replace all of this with these words given over here. If you are using the name of the objects, then before that kono will come. If you are just pointing at things, then only kore will suffice. Now, we have been doing a lot of kanji characters. In class, we have done from 1 till 10 and a couple of more kanjis and I think you are getting familiar with kanji now. Kanjis are very interesting actually. Once you understand them, once you know how to write kanji characters, once you start thinking in kanji, it becomes very interesting. So, we have some more kanji characters for you which we have done in this lesson, some similar uh, looking kanji characters. One of them is N, N, N is written like this, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay. So, a little small, I am sorry. Once again, 1, 2, 3 and 4. That is how N will be written. N means round. N also means a circle or 
circular. The stroke order once again for you please 1, 2, 3 and 4 n. This is n. So, every time you write or ask price then it is hyaku n in Japanese and hyaku n in English. That is how you will write it. Now, another similar looking character to n this is nichi, I will write it here, nichi, nichi. You have done nihon, is not it? Nihon means Japan, we have done this in one of the previous lessons and also we are doing this language nihongo, nihon and go. I am not making the kanji over here for go it is a little difficult for you. So, you will be a little too boggled. We will not do go at the moment, we will do go later nihon. So, this character nichi, nichi over here nichi. So, how do you how do you think this character has come into being? What does it mean? What does it signify? Like I just told you yen is for circle and is being used for money now as a currency because money in olden days was either round or elongated. What does this character signify? Well, this is related with day somehow. How? Because sun decides divides the day into two, it divides the day into day and night. Thus, you cannot as you cannot make this in make kanji characters like this you have to have it in lines in straight vertical horizontal lines. So, this has been changed into this and this division for day and night. So, any time you see this character written anywhere it means it is either related to day to sun to light to any of these or date or time it is related to that. So, please this new character for you. It is four strokes 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, any way you see this written it signifies light, day, date and of course, sun because all of this it is finally related to the sun and of course, we have done this Nihongo Nihon, Nihon which is Japan. Now, another similar character to Nichi over here, the second one Nichi over here, this one similar to this. We have done Ichi, you remember Ichi a single line which means 1. Just by adding this to this, it becomes Hyaku. Now, this is not the way to actually learn characters, learn kanji characters, but for for you for the time being it is easy because you have done this character now, you know what it means. It has nothing to do with nichi or day over here at all. This is a new character completely, but how it has been made is what I am trying to tell you. It is easy to memorize like this, nichi this and this. Of course, the stroke order is not like this, stroke order is like this. This is the proper stroke order. So, please remember this stroke order for Hyaku. Hyaku means 100 over here. This part was just for you to learn 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. This is Hyaku. Once again Hyaku. So, these are the three characters that we are going to do today. Some uh, words with kanji characters for you, some new words. You have already done these words, I am just putting kanjis for you. All the kanjis also you have done. So, now you will see Ju n. 
Nihon. I just told you Nihon. Nichi you have done just now. Ichi nichi. Another new word for you. Ichi nichi means one single day. Juni nichi. The twelfth. We will be doing these these characters later on also. Now, Hyakunin is 100 people, Kyu Hyaku is 900 and Hyaksai is 100 years old. So, please these are just words for you to remember with these characters that we have done today. Now, simple vocabulary, the vocabulary that we have done in this lesson. I will just read it out, please get the pronunciation. Budo, Ringo, Mikan, Meron, Suika, Ramon, Momo, Pineapple, Ninjin, Tamanegi, Jagaimon, Okura, Satsuma Imo, Hako, and now comes your part. You have to do all of this at home. This is exercise for you now. Tell the price of objects. So, the objects are listed over here without the name and the price is given. So, I want you to practice with your partner by asking what is the price of this object and loudly please. Now, same exercise you know the name of the objects over here, you can see it in the picture, we have done it a number of times. Some of them may be new, you could look up the dictionary also, but the important part is that all of it, all the price over here is given in kanji. So, you have to practice kanji as well, you have to tell the price, read this and tell the price of the object. So, this is the exercise over here, assignment 2. Now, there is a small picture here again and someone is pointing. So, some things are close to this person and some things are far away. So, all you have to do now is to name the objects and to tell how much it is for with your partner and please loudly. So, in the end I would like to say please finish all this very nicely so that we can do our next lesson next time. With this I would like to end our class today. So, deva mina san arigato. Kore de owarimasu. And let's meet again next time. Mata ashita aimashou.